It's upside down, so it could be anything. This could be our missing person. It's a red Ford. We just bought the boat. It's definitely. Yeah, it's a Ford. It's stolen. Stolen. I figured that thing was so new. Hey, what's going on guys? Adam Bryan Adventures here. Today I'm up in Knoxville, Tennessee. I got the tow truck back there because we were out here on the river looking for vehicles. We're also searching for a potential missing persons case. There's like, I think 89 people missing in Knoxville. Only one person missing in a car though. Regina Dawn Robinson was last seen in Knoxville, Tennessee, December 16th, 2019. She was 43 years old when she went missing, last seen leaving a friend's house, driving a red 2001 Toyota Celica. So we're starting off at this boat ramp. There is actually like at least six or seven around. We're gonna try to hit all of them. Keep on searching until we find a car. I have a feeling we're gonna find one sooner than later, but let's get out here and let's get out to the boat. So we are getting the boat pumped up right now. We're about to get out here, scan this boat, ramp, and then hopefully find a car here. If not, we're gonna just keep on going. So let's get it all set up. Man, what in the world? This is why we can't have nice things. Jesus. Right in the boat ramp. <laughs> Alright man, so we got the boat set up. There is a small leak on the side, but I'm working on getting that fixed and maybe getting a small boat. Another yeah, boat. The forever, the never ending quest for the better boats. <sighs> so we're going to start hitting the ramps and uh, hopefully find something, right? Oh, we're going to find something. So Guaranteed. Let's get out there while we have air. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> What's the temperature right now? 36 degrees. 36? That's what we got here is 36. All the people up north are like, oh, that's just like a normal day. We got the summer breeze in Minnesota. Well, listen, we're yes. from Georgia and South Carolina. We don't do well. We're, 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 we're weenies, we admit it. If I was in my dry suit and thermal, I'd be like, whatever. Outside of my gear, I'm freezing. God, I hate cold. The cold hates me. Ready yet? Yep. Yeah. I'm dead. Oh, oh, we're not going anywhere. Just we just popped the boat. It's got a hole on the side. Go get your boat. I gave my finger on the side. Wait, how bad are we talking about? Here. Yeah, we move. It's definitely. Like, we'll be. We'll be oh, damn. <laughs> how the hell? So. Apparently, there's something right here that we just slid over. That maybe it was that screw that I pulled out. Whatever it is, it just. just God. Bless it. Wire. Or that rock. Or that rock. Or that rock. Or that clutter shard. Yeah. Any of this crap. Oh, I mean, bad how one. bad can we think we can make it? Quick scan? No, <laughs> not with that one. Five minutes and we got to be flat. Alright, so Jeremy's over there trying to get his boat inflated, but his pump's broken. My boat has a leak. Maybe two leaks. And my motor is also not starting. So today is starting off on a great note. I have the big pontoon boat, but I couldn't bring that. I am working on trying to get like a little mini like aluminum boat. Uh, that's what I'm trying to get. If anybody happens to have one, something small with a little steering wheel, that would be great for situations like this. But we'll figure it out. If I have to go to Walmart and buy a kayak or something, we'll do that. But let's keep trying and hopefully his boat blows up. Is it working? All right, so. We were so excited, we got out here, ready to search. What is going on, man? Okay, well, we popped your boat. Yeah, well, this uh, I'm this gonna blame, boat I'm ramp. I'm gonna blame you. Well, we'll blame the school system. <laughs> the, uh, the boat ramp is very neglected, so there's shards everywhere, not made for inflatables, and we just found that out the hard way. So now, we're gonna test fate with mine, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see, we'll see. So, uh, that's, that's all I can say. That's about it. That's it. Wish us luck. Is that what you're gonna say? Sure. 
All right, we are in the boat. Somehow, your motor feels a little funny. You got a bent prop, man. Bent prop? Yeah, that's okay. That, that's very common in men your age. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. I don't want to talk about that, though. Well, we got your sonar, my sonar running. I bet you $5 is the car here. You want to take that bet? $5. Subway car? sandwich. Might be. I'm going to go to 100. Brighten this baby up a little bit. So we just got it turned on. We'll scan over this ramp. It looks like it used to be more than... I think they redid this. I think it was like just a big boat ramp. So there's really potential. And I don't know how old this is. I don't know. 22 feet. Why don't you go over there a little closer? Yeah, you know, just randomly shoot down the middle of the road. Ah, we're gonna do green. we're gonna do one big scan down down the strip. There's a big clump of stuff over there in the middle. Maybe we can scan yeah, the other I mean, side. The car might have been could have gone out and then floated down the middle. So we can go down the side of the pillar. Man, that there looks like a car. Oh, nope, get a little bigger. I don't know. What is that? I don't know what the heck that is. It looks interesting. Yeah, it does. It might be part of that boat, dog. Yeah, maybe. But, I mean, man, we're getting a super good image. Like the pillars, you can see the rocks on the pillars and stuff really cool. I don't know what that is, honestly. I would love to go back. That kind of could be a car. It might, it might a be. a wagon or something, like one of those magnums. But... I don't know how we pull that out. <laughs> I don't think we would, but we could definitely dive it and see what it is. What's this? Something else. That. That's a car that's upside down. We just went right over it. Do you see it? They're directly on top of a car that's upside down. Oh, I do see it, but it's like my settings weren't exactly right, so it's not a great picture. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a th that's a thousand percent of car. Right there, so I, I, you know, I knew it. There's, there's oh, you knew it? I knew there'd be a car here. Well, you, you owe me five dollars. I see the shadow better than the car. No, right, doubt. right there is a car. I'm willing to bet this other thing right over here is a car too. Let's we'll see, we'll see what happens. Where are you going? Turn it. Stay straight. I'm trying not to hit the dock. Ain't no dang dock. It's not that deep. Like 10, 10, 8, 11 feet right here. Where that car is at, probably about 10 feet. It's not that deep be a quick dive, depending on how cold you want to get. I got my thermals, so it shouldn't be that cold. Yeah, you do. I think there's what we saw before. I think it is a car. It's just to the left of us. It's it's rectangular. It's either a car or a boat. I'm not getting a good shot. There. It was more like just a boat link over, so we turned around and went back just a little bit out. To see it. Yeah, it might be a boat. It kind of... You can see the dock on the right side. The whole thing that thing right there, yeah. There's something laying at the bottom. It's definitely not natural. Yeah, that's a car. Huh? A good place for a car. We'll drive right here and just float down. I think we could get that if that's a car. The angle is to be not great, but... We could go into that dock. Which it's, is, it's, I don't a know floating, it's a floating dock. As long as it is, if there's cables under there that hold it in place, though, that, that's. Well, I don't know if it'd be like it because it'd have to. Yeah, I think you're right. It's because if, if the if the level comes up and down, yeah, it would yeah, tie yeah. down like that. Yeah. That other one kind of looked like a boat. It kind of did. But it is rectangular, so. I don't know. So I guess the current is going down that way, then. Yeah, not it's going up. that way. It's not. So there's probably nothing up here. Uh, I'm gonna go out this time farther and see if we find anything. But one, maybe one and a half, maybe two, maybe one car, one and a, one one and and a half, half boats. <laughs> one and a half cars. One and a half cars. So we're going down here. There was like a park, it looked like, or now they're building buildings. I don't know, but there's like a sunken boat or barge or something right here. I don't want to get too close. I might pop the boat. Yeah, and we need this boat. Down to our last we're one. We're down to our last one. <laughs> yeah, I think a nice flat bottom aluminum yeah something like real small aluminum if you guys know anybody like something simple you just bang this thing up against that because we need a small boat i have the big pontoon for bigger bigger jobs but we can't always bring that out everywhere so something small aluminum with the steering wheel even the fiberglass one like the bass boat i got if, it, if the motor can even be repaired that's cool but it's still yeah. fiberglass you bang that up on a rock right you're sinking but if you guys have any uh if you know anybody send me an email adambrownvlogs at gmail.com i'd love to uh hear about hear about it
So there's a car right there, you're saying. There's a there's a mess right there we that, just went over. That mess? Doesn't look like a car to me. It looked like a car better when it was closer. That makes it look like nothing, but the shadow looked like it was upside down because there's two wheels. Somewhere in this mess, I'm telling you there's a car. See, there's like a frame of something we just passed too. I, I kind of see that. But I mean, get close to like the trees. I mean, go just right by the trees. And it, it, it's, you're going to be like, oh. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm going to be like that? I guarantee you, like, there it is. Me and my big mouth not <laughs> thinking. Jeremy knows everything. But wait, 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 wait. We're going directly over it. That is about yeah, billion, trillion percent of car. We just went right over it. You see the wheels. You see the oh, wheels. yeah, that's the bottom of it, right? Yeah. So just forward of that. So you can kind of see the frame. It's a little weird, wonky on mine, but. Crazy spot for one, too. It looks like it went. This is a private property. I mean, it, it might have, I think there's a road like right up here though, but I don't know. It, it probably went through right here. It might be really it old. Went off right there. It, ha it had to could have. Be an that very well could be the car we're looking for. It's definitely, definitely too far. Ooh, I'm getting shallow. Oh, I, there's the car upside down. I don't know. No, that one's got me kind of, that one's got me excited. That's definitely. So you got a better shot on yours? A lot of detail on this, on the sonar. You can see the back wheel, you can see the spokes. The mine's, the holes. mine's not nice. that detailed. Well, I was shooting 70 feet on that time, so I got lots more detail on that. Shot. All right, let's get back. All right, go to the other ones. Oh, you, some... oh, you want you to like... check out there? Yeah, I don't know if you saw that. I didn't see anything. Might be so... Well, I'm, a, I'm back down to 70 now. Woo! That is a weird spot. I'm going up to the boat. Well, the boat ramp's right here. That car had to have gone through between those houses. Yeah. I mean, the boat, that's, that's a long way for a car to float. It, it can be done, but just saying. We need to look at the area this person went missing, because... Right, we just went over something else. Oh, what is that? I don't know. It could be a car. If it is, it's not upside down. It's rectangular. There is a lot of stuff out here in the river. Tires and all types of junk. I don't know what that is. That is a scream car, but it might be. It's worth a second look. The boat, the old boat ramp is right here. Definitely. I don't know if it was public or what the story behind. I think the road is like right up above it, so. Yeah. It might be a car. It might not be upside down. Oh, gosh. So we're under this bridge. There's a clear big drop off. There's a lot of stuff down here. Yeah, it looks like you can get access to this car over there. Just oh, look at that. All day. I bet you that's a car. Nothing screaming it like that one down there. No, but that one also looks like it's on the wheels. Is that like, it's kind of like, there's a, we had an odd angle, but I'm guessing it's part two. Huh. So you got it hooked on? Yeah, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, it's cold. Everything hurts. How do you do this? Through and over. Like so? Yup. You're like a professional. I'm gonna dive on it, clear, check the window, see if there's a plate. It's not the car belonging to the missing person we know about. But yeah, we know this is not the Celica, but we do know there's another car downstream more, there's another car way across. So we do still do have options, but we'll start with this one. I think we might pull this one out though. We might be able to get this out. It's, it's a big uh, vehicle though, so very big vehicle. if there's <laughs> stuff in the way, we'll I don't see. know, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. Y'all saw all that. We found what three? We know for at a, least three a cars. Thousand percent three cars. Now the, I I think there's at least three more under the bridge over that area. There weren't as clear pictures. I mean, this yeah. car is kind of everywhere, but we know this for sure. One where that orange buoy is down there. Um, there's one across the way, like down, but it looks it's upside down and it is in the weirdest spot. Like that car had to float for a minute. But it's it weird. It, it makes no sense how it's why it's oh, that one over there. It's there. Yeah, that one's got me most curious this is an odd spot it is getting colder isn't I, it i wish the sun would come. it really does feel like it's getting colder <laughs> so cold <laughs> might have to put some more t-shirts on i'll put my thermals on <laughs> my i mean suit. you gotta do what you gotta do i, mean, I, I gonna, brought my thermals <laughs> i'm gonna dive on that one right there first we're gonna clear it and then i guess you're gonna mark the other one right downstream just to check yeah as of now this one right here is the one we're gonna try to pull out for recovered so 
<laughs> but we're gonna check our boat ramps too. So I'm gonna dive this quickly so we can keep moving on and uh, keep finding more cars. I'm going. Not too much. Oh, y'all putting in? Uh, yeah, we're just checking out some cars that we found out here. All right. You guys aware of any? Uh, yeah. There's one right here. Yeah, have y'all dove on any of them yet? We dove on that one. That one's been there a long time. Has it? Uh, what was that? They dove on that one right here. Oh, did they? The SUV. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, one of our fun training sites. Is it? So we dive on that one. There's a few more down. We're actually doing some sonar training today. Oh, really? So we'll be going up and down. Fire department's coming out too. Here? Yeah. They're, they're putting it at the marina. They have their boats at the marina. But, uh, yeah, we're just a private search and recovery team. We travel yeah, around. I've seen those YouTube. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Dang. <laughs> so, so we're, yeah, we're just diving. We, so we found that car. I think one more over there, it looks like. And then over, uh, over a little a little be, farther down on this one side. One downstream from this. But then one on the other side, too. There's one on the other side way far down. That's going to be our kind of our training site. It's off of a park. We dove that one a while ago, looking for another gate, but. Yeah. So you haven't dove the next one down on this side, though? We might dive the, the two other two cars in just to see what they are. All right. Well, you got a mark. Dive in while I get ready. Yeah, I'll give you that. Whew, everything's cold. I bet the water is gonna feel awesome. Well, if it's 40 degrees out here and the water is like almost 60, it's like 20 degree difference. It probably feel like a dang jacuzzi. <laughs> so, all right, so I got all my gear on. I guess I'm gonna go down there, clear it and all that. Mm. And then I'll come back up and then, if I give you like, go ahead, I guess. Pretty much, yeah, just take the magnet down to the next All car. Right. I'll hold it under the dock or something. Yeah. All right, so I got all my gear on. I'm about to go check out the Suburban. I guess they've already dove on it. So I'm kind of just looking at it myself to see if we can get this out with the tow truck. Now, after we, I go over that one, we're gonna go check out these other ones that I guess have not been dove on yet, so. Let's go check out this first and uh, see what it looks like. Two cars are really the focus of today. What's that, bro? Yeah, it's an SUV. It's very pretty good. Like up above the wheels? It's facing up. Oh, it's facing this way? You and sure? It's like angled kind of like this. With the front left wheel we technically attached to. It's full of mud. It's full of the windows down? Yeah. Hang out here. I'll go get the boat and mark the other car. It's upside down. 
Uh, I mean, this one, the, the, the dive rescue team does not know about. So it could be anything. This could be our missing person. So red Toyota Celica. There is a tag neighbor. I can't think of it offhand, but if there's a tag, obviously bring it up. And if not, do your best to clear it, identify it, find anything that we can like figure out how to identify it. But I'll drag you out there, and it is upside down, so it's really easy to find the butt because the butt is always up. It's a red Ford hatchback. A red Ford hatchback? Okay, this isn't expired yet. Oh. This car is still good. How did it get around that burger though? That's crazy. I mean, it's not like a band. It's a, it's a hatchback. I don't know. So you're literally standing on it. It's like, I mean, I, yeah, pretty much. Crazy. Windows up or down? Not anymore. Huh? Windows? They're all busted except for the driver's window. Okay. I mean, you can see enough. If you, you just have to be careful stirring up everything. A red Ford hatch. What's a Ford hatchback? A fusion? The, the, see, the back hatch is down. So I, I could reach under and rip the plate off, but it was really, I don't want to tire myself out lifting it because the back hatch, hatch was yeah. like open and buried. Well, I mean, we definitely got... We got a plate. It's not even, that's, that's like a new wreck. But I've never seen one where you guys it's not expired. I mean, yet. it's it's right. It's so it's so shallow. Makes me wonder. It's not expired. That definitely went in after the suburban, and the rescue team knows about the suburban. So this just happened. You know? The bridge is right there, but it didn't look severely damaged. I don't know. It must have floated down, and the windows were up. Yeah, maybe it just floated over. I think it floated over. Probably. Probably something a lot simpler than we're thinking. <laughs> but I don't. I don't know. Go dive it would be one. worth a, a more thorough check. I just we got the plate, so we can definitely find out if it's oh, yeah. a missing person. And then if it is, I'm sure they'll take over. Oh yeah. Definitely. But uh, yeah, it, it looks reddish, red or almost purpley. But, but I, think, I think it's red. Well, let me get up in here and we'll go across the other. So we just drove that hatchback. Um, as far as I can tell, it's clear. Right now we're going down to this other vehicle that is probably really old. I don't know. There's only two ways it went in. The old, old boat ramp, which no longer is in service, or this person's property right here. And it had to be a their car. I think it's got to be really old, but it looks pretty good on the sonar. Which looks usually like got, does. It looks like it's got alloy wheels. I ain't lying, dude. When you dive in, you'll be like, oh, dang, these are aluminum wheels. We'll see. It should be easy, too. It's not, it's not that We easy. also have, like, all the search team and fire departments out here doing sonar training, which is kind of funny. And, uh... How ironic we picked yeah. that same spot as all this today. <laughs> Is he still behind me? Yeah, they're coming up well, kind of over there. Right. And there's a pontoon flying through. But 
this other one is like right around here somewhere. So we're marking it with a magnet. Got it? Man, I, like a professional. I am so good at this. Alright, let's dive on this puppy. Good? Yep. It's 2013, I think. Uh, 2013, South Carolina. Uh, we're not in South Carolina. No. Did you figure out what kind of car it was? It's a Dodge. The wheels are, yeah, the wheels are bright, like. <laughs> I couldn't see a, a decal with the dogs. It's, I think it's a hatchback. All right, so that was another kind of tricky one. It did have a plate, surprisingly. Weird spot. I don't know, South Carolina Dodge. I couldn't tell if it's a hatchback. At first, I thought it was a truck, yeah. but it's not a truck. It's it's some sort of Dodge car or small hatchback Dodge. Well, sure, we got the tag numbers. Well, yeah, we got the tag. That one expired 2013, so is it scummy? Uh, yeah, it's scummy, but it's like the paint, if you rub it away, the paint's still pretty good condition, it seemed like. It was like gray, I'm pretty sure gray, maybe white. Yeah, I noticed last time that one car we pulled out, I thought it was white and it ended up being silver. Yeah, I, I, I think it's silver. Yeah. But a weird spot for a car nonetheless. Um, I'd love to know the stories behind these two. So let's drag you back over there. Two plates, I mean. We can talk to the police maybe. And maybe. I just see any cops over a bunch of dive rescue teams, but I mean, we'll search uh, online, see if they're linked to any missing person cases. They haven't been dove on yet, so. <laughs> no, hell no. That's, uh, that's a red flag, but let's get back over there. Okay. Strange. Morning. So, we've got two plates. All right, so the, the car across the river, uh, he dove on, is like four feet underwater. I just used epicvin.com and looked it up, and it ended up coming back to a 2020 Subaru Impreza. South Carolina plates, uh, and that's about all we know on this, but that's a newer car. The last odometer reading was 5319. It was like a new car. Mm. So, that isn't... That's crazy. Okay, so riddle me this. If it comes back to a 2020 Subaru, but it expires in 13? Am I, am I, is that not computing in my head? Am it probably I recycled the, the VIN. Oh. 
the other tag, the Tennessee tag, it comes back to a th 2014 red Ford Escape. That makes sense. That de it's definitely a, a Ford. So we got the two plates here out of three of the cars because one of them they already knew about the Suburban. And you just looked them up on Epic Vin. Right? I did. I did. What did you find out? The Tennessee one is not even expired yet. It belongs to a 2014 Ford Escape right. red. And that makes sense because that's everything you saw. Yeah. So. Uh, the other one comes back to a 2020 Subaru Impreza white. Problem with that is, that tag expired in 2013. And it came back to a 20, that still doesn't make any damn sense to me now that I say it out loud. And plus, the one you dove on has Ram wheels. Yeah. So at first I was thinking maybe somebody stole the plates. I thought it was a plates. truck at first. It felt really big, but. I don't know. That other Some one's sort of hatchback. That one's, I have no idea what's going on with that one. Well, I, had one of those I mean, because the Impreza is a hatchback, but I must have had a huge brain fart because if it expires in 2013, it can't be a 2020, right? The numbers aren't lining up. It has to be at least. Yeah, a there's some there's some red flags. Something there's something going weird around. going on with that one. Yeah. But I'd love to see the cops run that tag and figure out what it is. Yeah, we'll find out. More. <laughs> and hopefully. We're gonna have a nosebleed because that one's just throwing me off so <laughs> we'll much. We'll see, we'll see, yeah. Because even if they did swap the plates, it still doesn't add up why it's expired in 2013, but it's a 2020. No. Nope. That's weird. It's a mystery. It's a mystery to me. Now, people are gonna like blow up your comments, be like, you're so stupid, <laughs> and explain it to Listen, us. If we're dumb right now, it's because we're, we're freezing and our, I can't brains think are, straight. our brains are frozen. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get the boat put in the trailer and do all that and get, get ready to go. No, I mean, no, not the at all. tag isn't even expired, you know? Yeah, we got uh, two, yeah, two tags. Did you climb in it? <laughs> uh, I looked around pretty good. I mean, it was kind of, visibility wasn't great, but it, uh, it was. Not, it's not buried. I mean, not much, really. Where's the, the new tag at? Oh, uh, the, the location? Yeah. Uh, it's that park that was right under, like, right under the bridge up there. Did they pull the car out? They didn't pull anything out. They were, they were just doing, the fire department was doing all their sonar training. And they knew there was a suburban right there they knew about, but then that one's like right past the uh, the floating dock there a little ways. Ford? Yeah, it's a Ford. Yeah, it's stolen. Stolen. Yeah. I figured that thing was so new. Like, so that's the landing. Yeah. And then there's there's the dock. Right there is a suburban. But this one's like right here past it. Okay. On the right. So I think it floated down a ways. And the vehicle's still in there? Yeah. We, t we told them in that, I mean, we pointed it out, but they just didn't, I don't know. <laughs> they didn't know about that one, though, they said. Yeah, it's not stolen or anything, it just has expired. So that one is, that was a Dodge, right? The yeah, Dodge. Dodge Avenger. It's in a weird spot. Like, there's a, it's right behind somebody's house. Like, it had to go through their property off, there's like a really old boat ramp a little ways up. Yeah. I, it might have gone down that, but that, that boat ramp looks bad now. And they come back? So the, the new one is stolen. The, well, the, the brand new one? The, the Ford is stolen. Okay. Um, the Dodge is not stolen, but it was dudes out of Greenville. Man. You just gotta pull it out of the far left angle. All right, we're at the next boat ramp. Got the boat in down here, we're about to check. So you think we're gonna find something in here? Uh, My gut says, yeah, this looks pretty sketch. Right off the main road, easy to get in, dispose. It'd be nice out. if there was one right here. Yeah. Cause we just drag right well there might be this might be the spot he was talking about it's probably like piles of them we come here next six months come and here until spring so it's here and there's right around right across this thing right yeah we got a few spots we can check over and here. then there's a park up here or right there it looks like a steep are you sure it's man i don't know or is it on like the map right it looks like there. there's some baseball fields down oh yeah i think it's right there i think that, down what are we next to that cross yeah somewhere downstream is the other boat around but we can check all right here i think that's downstream so all right, let's do Dude, it real quick. This is an island, and I swear to God, I just saw a two or three goats on it. Oh, it might be. So that's, <laughs> that's kind of weird. <laughs> Wait, how do you not know you saw a goat? I don't exactly know. <laughs> what else would it be? Well, why would there be goats out there? Then? That's the goat game. island. There's, there's lots island of goats? Yeah, dude. That's totally a thing. All right, so we're in the boat. I got the sonar running once again. It's definitely getting darker out here. Six six feet, super shallow. I bet yeah. we're gonna find something at one of these spots. There's a boat ramp here and the other side of this island, which apparently Jeremy saw goats at. I would love 
for this boat ramp to have the car like because that's the perfect yeah that for once should be easy the other one we can get out it's just going to be interesting which Definitely. would be a lot I don't know. Whatever we decide to do, go over to Wrecked and Recovered channel, subscribe, and uh, you'll see what we ended up finding and pulling out. <laughs> so we believe we found a car just that fast. I don't know if it's a car, but based it on... Like one. Do you have well, a clearer picture? We'll see here in a second. That was a gambling man. That's a, that's, that's a vehicle. I'm guessing it is very based on my down imaging. I don't, I don't see it. And it's facing not the right way for a good because we got to go this way to get a good shot. Of so, can we get it out? Possibly. I definitely. Especially. Oh, we did a lot of searching today. Definitely don't, was not expecting it to be this cold, but we found a bunch of cars. You know, the search team being out there was cool. Yeah. There's, I think, a truck right here. Oh, there's definitely it's still a vehicle on your here. screen. It's something. I think a truck. You think what? SUV. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but on the other side of this island, which you sit, you claim to have found goats on the island. I didn't see any goats. I think you're... Dude, they ran off. There was white goats. I seen them. Nah. They were jumping around. That place is haunted. It's crazy. Anyways, there's a boat from the other side. We found those that, uh, at least one car. So we're going to pull that out on our Wrecked and Recovered YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, go over there subscribe to that channel because you're not going to want to miss that episode. Also, check out Explore with Nug's channel. If you want to. And, uh, you know, leave a comment, like the video, and we will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye-bye now.